track, guys. So we had about an hour to pedal out this morning before we could even get started, really. I wanted to come out to a spot I hadn't been to in about 12 or 13 years. It used to be filled with lily pads. I mean, more than I've seen anywhere before. So I'm hoping to get in here and it still be that way and be able to get on a frog bite pretty good or flipping those pads and, and see if we can catch some giants. There we go. One of these little guys come out and hitch a second ago and it's right at the edge of this grass, but they're just little bitty guys. But maybe that'll tell me, maybe that'll tell me a little bit of what to be looking for along these grass edges and be able to catch a few more. Hopefully catch some that could eat that little guy. There we go, finally. Glad to have this little guy. It's been been a tough morning. I made this pedal out here and hoping it would be a lot better, but it definitely has not been so far. There we go. A little better fish than we've had this morning. Probably should have stayed here when I put in this morning. I was seeing some fish jumping, but was stubborn and wanted to go check out that spot since I hadn't been there in so long. All right, guys, we're gonna let him go. Little 15 inch fish, but better than those little 12 inch guys I was catching. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for the day. Learned a lesson, made a bad decision. Should have stayed right here instead of making that big pedal. Went all the way, made six miles round trip, so I could have stayed right here within a mile area and, and probably done a lot better. Saw a little bit of action this morning, but I was just dead set on going out to those pads and they just weren't there. So uh, if you learn anything from this, it's if you see them, stay on them because <laughs> they may not be where you're thinking. Thanks for watching. You guys have a good one.